take a closer look at the tip of this cicada. Today, I'll share some fascinating facts about cicadas. Cicada P. Have you ever walked under a tree in summer and felt a drop of water fall on you? Unfortunately, there's a good chance that it was cicada P. Cicadas belong to the order Pentatomidae, insects characterized by their straw-shaped mouths. They use these mouths to suck tree sap and often pee out the excess water. So, if you watch cicadas in trees closely, you might catch them in the act. On hot, sunny days, cicadas pee more frequently. This is because the evaporation helps cool their bodies. So, if you feel something wet on a sunny summer day, it's probably cicada pee. Luckily, it's similar to tree sap and not harmful to humans. Now, let's talk about the secret of cicada chirping. To attract females, male cicadas use a special sound-producing organ in their abdomen to produce a unique sound. Each species of cicada has its own distinct call, and with a little concentration, it's easy to identify which type of cicada is calling. For instance, the robust cicada is known for its mean, mean sound, while the black cicada produces more of a jibberu noise. Among these, the call of the Maymuna opalifera stands out. This species follows a specific pattern in its call from start to finish. If you listen carefully, you'll notice that they sing in a remarkably complex pattern. Isn't that fascinating? Every cicada species has a different chirping sound. It's truly interesting to focus and listen to these varied calls at least once when a cicada is singing. Now, about cicada pupa. Cicada larvae spend several years underground, feeding on the sap of tree roots before emerging to mate. Once they surface, the larvae climb trees and molt, transforming into the adult cicadas we recognize. If you examine trees closely in the summer, you can easily spot cicada shells. Look closely, and you'll see a crack on the back of these shells. Interestingly, many people mistakenly call these shells cicada pupae, but cicadas do not have a pupal stage. The transformation from larva to adult in insects is known as metamorphosis. There are two types, complete metamorphosis, where there is a dramatic change between larval and adult stages via a pupal stage, and incomplete metamorphosis, where the larval form gradually transitions into an adult through several molds without a pupal stage. Cicadas undergo incomplete metamorphosis, so there is no pupal stage. Thus, the correct term for what is often called a cicada pupa is actually a molting shell. That's it for our cicada video today. You've probably heard many cicada sounds by now, so let's listen to Sebastian's sound here. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science. Uncovering the Mysteries of Science.